Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a haul. Um, I did some exchanges today, like I said in my video yesterday. Um, I have four candles from whatever last candle sale. Um, and then also from the mini sale. Um, I know I'm a little bit late, but I just wanted to show you guys and I never really got around to it. Um, I hope you guys like these videos. Um, I usually, I'm new at this but I've just been doing like project pan and empties which are my favorite videos but I like filming this is fun for me so you guys are gonna be probably getting more videos um trying to come up with like other ideas of what I can film um I try to do that collection video that didn't really work out <laughs> it's just really hard um I just moving my stuff around in this house and it's just a lot um uh yeah I don't think I really have much more to say. Um, my, so I have one of those like little rundown malls where I live and that's where the Bath and Body Works is. But up at a plaza, they are actually opening another Bath and Body Works. And I had asked them today because I heard somebody, I was like at the front of the store and I had heard somebody say about um, opening the other store. And I only got the glimpse of the conversation where they said that they were going to keep the mall store still open, which kind of surprised me because I feel like my mall is going to get like wiped out and bought by somebody else or something um because they're charging really high for rent and everything uh, but so they're keeping both of them open but when I went up and asked myself they said the 13th which is coming up that's literally 11 days away like I didn't know it was gonna be that soon um I can't I know they had like a paper on the door at the new place I didn't see it but I just saw it on like Facebook and stuff um but I think I wanted to say they said like fall, but maybe they it said summer. So now I kind of have this dilemma of what do I do for SAS? Do I go to the new store that is going to be huge and I'm pretty sure it's going to have like a white barn or if not, it's just going to have so it's the space that they're putting it in is massive. So do I go to the new store? Or do I go to the old store that's been open and people have returned items um, and they might have some of those like little one-off things. I'm going to go to both of them. I know that because I'm off that day, I already said. Um, but I'm just wondering which one I stand in line at. Um, I really don't know. So if you guys have had this sort of situation where you've had to choose between stores, tell me like what your determining factor was. Like is a bigger store going to get more products? Or, yeah, I, I just really don't know. I'm kind of struggling with what to do. I th I know one of the girls that I went to high school with works um, at the one at the mall. And I should probably ask her, or even just the employees, at both locations once it's open in a couple days. Um, and just ask them, like, what they think. Um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to ask. If they don't know, they don't know. But we'll go ahead and get started. I'll try and do my minis first. So, I have a candle crate. Some of the stuff, like, fell down. Okay, I think I have them all. All right, so I only got one, like, travel size item. Um, this is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I really like this scent, as I've told you guys, and I really want the full set, but I'm hoping and praying that the full set's at SAS because... I don't need it. I have this, um, but I don't need it. I just have so many other things in my collection that I could be using up, but if I can get the full set at 75% off, I will definitely be doing that. So I'm kind of gambling with that one. Um, the rest of the items are lip products. So this was, I wasn't going to get this. I did not have my eye on it at all. But when I saw it was the last one that they had, I picked it up. Um, and I saw Bonnie, I heard Bonnie talk about it. This is the Carrot Cake Happy Easter lip gloss. It's in like this big, um, packaging. It was the last one. I'm really hoping that it's not glittery. I'm kind of hoping that for all of these. I I tried, I got gifted for Christmas a couple years ago a Bath and Body Works lip gloss and it was glittery and iridescent and I just want something clear. So carrot cake is going to be very, very interesting, but it's super cute and you know, if it tastes like spiced cake or just like spices, that'll be fine. So we'll see how I feel about that. 
Then I picked up two of these that are like that same shape. One is creme brulee and the other is peach bellini. Um, I had saw on Instagram the creme brulee one and I was definitely interested in it. Um, and then the peach one, I just figured I'd get a fruity one. I Like I said, I really hope these aren't glittery. I asked the associate when I bought them and she said that she didn't know. Um, but like the little part that I can see through at the bottom, it looks clear. I think it's clear. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're clear. So, and then these, you guys know that I love these. Um, these are like the skinny tubes. They're literally like a lip oil gloss. They're not sticky. They're slippy, but they're moisturizing. They taste amazing. I got a ton of them, um, at Christmas time because they had a bunch of different like Christmas scents, but these ones are even cuter with this packaging. Like I just love it. So I have two of the pineapple Prosecco. I love pineapple scents, so that'll be good. I got one mango Mai Tai and then one passion fruit spritzer. So, so excited. I have a lot of those lip glosses because I think I bought six or eight of the Christmas ones, but I'm the tie-dye packaging, they knocked it out of the park with that one. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and get on to candles. So the first one I'm going to show you is one that I really tossed back and forth, rather exchanging it or not. And I think I had it in my bag to exchange today, but... I decided not to um because there were some other ones that I would have rather exchanged and I believe I saw a video and somebody said this one was actually a decent throw and that it smelled really good so I'm kind of gonna you know just try it out myself um I really hate exchanging candles that I lit so I probably won't do that um but I think from now on and I said that with the other candle that I was gonna move it to my room um, I didn't end up doing that because I do have a backup, uh, did I even say that? I, sorry, let's backtrack. I don't know if I said the, um, cherry fruit pop candle that I exchanged, it had the dust cover on it, and I do believe that when you have a lid on a candle, and especially if you, like, let it sit for a couple months, that it just smells so much stronger. Like, I've just heard other people say that the lid makes the scent just, it, it's a lid, I don't know, but the, 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 backup that I have of of cherry fruit pop or whatever it has a lid the one that I burnt had a dust cover and it didn't smell like anything so I just exchanged that one kept the other one because it has a lid and then maybe I'll just only burn that in my room um but this one if any of these other candles don't have a throw I'm moving them to my room to at least try because I didn't try with the other one and it's just a hassle to exchange candles they're so heavy and it's just like it's kind of awkward and it's a lot of work for the associate so I think I'm just done with that uh if you guys see me do it sorry but <laughs> okay so this one is iced coconut milk the name you can just tell that it's probably gonna be light but we're gonna try it it has notes of fresh coconut milk crushed ice then with that ice note it doesn't make sense um and sweet vanilla cream so vanilla and coconut milk i don't mm. it smells decent on cold but we're just gonna see the packaging's cute they didn't have any more of these at my store today when I looked, so maybe that means it's a good one. I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it. It's just white wax, but we'll see. I, I don't have high hopes for it. I really don't, but um, here is one in the white barn packaging, which... I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> White Barn packaging is like my absolute favorite. Uh, not apps. I do like the packaging that they try for, but White Barn is just so classic and minimalistic. It looks so pretty. So this is sun drenched linen. Oh, this, in my opinion, from smelling all the ones on cold, like all of the linen. Uh, there's like linen sheets. I think that's what it's called um like call any of like the fresh scents this one in my opinion on cold is the strongest so that's what I was going for uh this has scent notes of clean cool linen crisp tart apple and soft musk it definitely smells like a strong one so glad to pick this up this will just be like a reset candle for me whenever I've just burnt too much and I'm just like over it um 
I look, but I really want to do those uh, post burn reviews like I was telling you guys about because I'm burning a candle right now and it is a three wick um, and it is top tier. It is so, so good and I just really want to talk with you guys about that. So we'll see if I end up filming that. Um, I picked up, I was going to return this one too because this, this, these are like recent purchases. Um, this is the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. It's kind of an odd name. It has scent notes of fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. Um, these packagings were okay. I do like it's like a white lid. Like the contrast looks really nice. Um, I just got this as kind of like a placeholder for the new candles. But when I went through my collection and decided that there were some other ones that I'd rather exchange, I figured this would be a good one for one of one of the days where it's kind of cold and rainy or like save it for winter i realize i don't have that many winter scents i have a lot more summer which i didn't know when i organized my candles so if this one holds on till like fall or winter it'll be fine for that it's kind of just like an all year round scent so um i figured i just keep it in my collection it smells really good it, it's kind of it kind of smells light but it's vanilla. I smelled vanilla bean in store today because I almost picked that up, but I just think that'd be way too light. Okay, the one that I'm missing from this little haul, because I got those four, and then all these other ones are exchanges. I got this one, but I think, I, I know I have another one downstairs. I don't think I showed you guys yet. Um, so this one I have two of, but I just have one physically right here upstairs um this is the sprinkled birthday cake so this has set notes of rainbow sprinkles vanilla frosting fluffy cake um i don't know why but in my head i had that this was just like a play-doh-y uh light scent and then i just keep watching everybody's post burn reviews and empties and hauls and everything and people said such amazing things multiple people about this candle so it does smell really good um, I just didn't think it was going to be a heavy throw, but everybody says that it's pretty decent. So I got two of them. Um, if I burn one and it's not, I might exchange, but I really trust other people's opinions, especially people who have been in this game forever and know a lot about candles and, um, that have been with Bath and Body Works forever and ever. Um, so I trust them. So that's why I picked up two. Um, I'm really excited to burn them. Um, okay, so now onto the ones that I got today from my exchanges. So I picked up the Sea Salt and Sales. This one I wasn't excited about, but when I smelt everything else, I really didn't want to pick anything else up. And I wanted another like linen scent, but that, like I said, that one is stronger than all the other ones. So I didn't want any of the other ones, the linen sheets or anything. I didn't like those. So this one is actually like a pretty fresh scent. Um, the scent notes are ocean sea spray, aloe vera nectar, and driftwood. My fiance really likes this one. It's kind of like a mixture between a uh, fresh and clean with like a men's cologne. That driftwood note, um, I have a couple candles I think there's one just called Ocean Driftwood, and it just smells like along the same lines as Mahogany Teakwood, like very much men's cologne. So I think that's why he likes this, um, but it's also fresh. He didn't really like any of the candles today that I got. He didn't like them, but he did like this one. Um, so I am glad that I picked it up because he likes it, and it's fresh, and it'll be another reset candle. Okay, then from that same packaging, I got the chocolate banana mudslide. Um, I, oh, sorry, 20% battery every time I film. Um, I didn't really have my eye on this one. I'm going to show you the other ones that I was way more excited. They're the different packaging. Um, but this one has notes of frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and splash of rum. So I was kind of between this and chocolate chip cookie. Um, I did not get chocolate chip cookie. It just smells really, really off to me. But um, this one is very different. It's something that I don't have. I love banana scents. Um, the chocolate and the banana is a little bit odd, but I just don't think I've ever had anything that was chocolate and banana, like, flavored before, like, to eat or, like, it's just, it's, a, it's like a new combo to me. Um, but it, it smells good. Um, 
it's just one that I'm not the most excited about, but it's so different that I am glad that I got my hands on it and I'm really going to enjoy burning it and kind of getting my own opinion for it. I don't know if I've watched anybody's uh, post burn review on this yet. These are very new candles, so um, uh, let me know if you even have these at your store yet because maybe everybody has them now. But my fiance, so I like told him to smell all these um, and he actually had the best like comparison to what this smells like and if you get this candle please just like picture this in your head because I can't believe he was so right on this he said that this candle smells like um like after you go uh, trick-or-treating like during Halloween after you dump your bucket or your bag out or whatever you have smell the bottom of the bucket because it smells like I I like I said banana laffy taffy and like your leftover chocolate like Hershey's or what it literally that's it's what it smells like it smells like the bottom of your Halloween trick-or-treat bucket I was so impressed that he like compared it to that because it's exactly what it smells like so yeah let me know down below if you get this candle and how you feel about it and if you see that because oh that was like the perfect comparison okay enough rambling about that one um i did pick up a second iced lemon pound cake reviews on this have been really really good and i didn't want to burn one and then never be able to find it again uh, my store did have a good bit of these left but i just i didn't want to have fomo and i want to burn that one and um actually lemon cake pop I have that candle from like the like a year ago like whenever it released in well I guess it's like released with the same sense pretty much all the time but I have that candle and I have not heard good things about that one um so I might end up burning um lemon cake pop before I burn my ice lemon pound cake because the reviews on this are much better so it just smells amazing. It smells so good. It makes me want to go to Starbucks and get a, a lemon pound cake. Um, usually I get like the pumpkin ones in the fall time. I don't think I've ever actually had their lemon one, but it just, it smells so good. It has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. It's amazing. If you haven't tried this, you got to get your hands on it. But I definitely love like gourmand scents, so... Not too shocking that I said that. Okay, you guys knew I was going to get this one. Um, I was debating rather getting a second one, but it kind of doesn't smell very strong on cold and I'm a little bit scared. Um, but I had to pick it up and try it anyway. This is Berry Waffle Cone. Um, I have a single wick of this one, so I'm going to burn that before I burn this one. Um, but I might... Latte. I might end up burning this, like, soon who knows but I'm gonna try to because if I do love it then I can pick up more before they're gone till next summer maybe um so I'm gonna try and burn it but it just doesn't smell super strong it smells amazing but it doesn't like punch you in the face like I thought that this candle would so we'll see the packaging's super cute the purple and the pink with the air balloons it's probably my favorite out of all these so far but now we'll get into like the top tier packaging one that I was not going to get. I just, I like picked all the ones that I really, really wanted. And then I kept like re-smelling. And I was like, which one do I need to take out? Like which one? I almost got another one of the, um, what's the mango one called? <sighs> I can't think of it. Sweet, sweet red mango. That's what it is. Um, heard really good reviews about that. I was so close to picking up a second one. I think I had it in my bag and then took it out because I really want to try these new candles. Um, so I ended up not getting it, but I ha I have one um mango, red mango, whatever it is. Um, I have one of them, so I just, I skipped on a second one so that I could get new ones. Um, so this one is buttery popcorn. I have the sweet kettle corn candle. I think that that's better than this. Obviously, they're a little bit different. There's both popcorn scents, um, but the packaging's adorable on this and it's very different I love when Bath and Body Works does different candles that are just like something that you wouldn't expect like popcorn candle whatever but my fiance likes this one it smells like buttered popcorn it's just such a fun candle to have um the notes are melted butter fresh popcorn sprinkle of sea salt I just like these off the wall type of candles and the packaging so I'm excited to have that. 
Then I picked up the Sour Melon Drop. My fiance hates this. It definitely has a cucumber melon aspect. I mean, you're talking melon, but you can really get the sour. I almost said, I don't even know. Sour and tart note in it, like, is top tier. So the notes are juicy candied watermelon, sour green apple, and bursting honeydew melon. I did not know that there was watermelon and apple in this. Huh. Those are very interesting scent notes. Now I think it smells really, really good because I get the, you can get the watermelon and the apple. And then the honeydew melon, I feel like, is probably like the most, maybe not. It's kind of like an equal proportion of all of them. I don't, now I'm getting like all these different scents. I didn't, I should have read the scent notes. Sometimes I do in store, sometimes I don't. And then this is one that I knew for sure I was going to grab. I could not leave the store without this one. Almost picked up two, but it's a little bit of festive packaging, which I would still burn it all year round. But I figured I just need one right now. So this is red, white, and blue cake. I love this one. This one's really good. Oh. Like, I can't even explain it. Well, we'll read the side notes and then we'll see if I can pick it up. Red raspberries, ripe blueberries, and whipped vanilla cream. Oh, and soft white cake. <sighs> I don't even really, like, get the berry. Like, it's obviously, like, a sweet, fruity kind of. I don't know. It just smells like a fruity cake, like one of those like fruit tarts. That's not really cake, but oh, it's just so good. It smells so good. It just, it reminds me, I know there's like firecracker pop, which I think is supposed to be like those popsicles that are red, white, and blue, like the rocket ones. Or, well, I don't even know what they are, but I feel like this candle smells like what that would taste like. I don't know if I've ever had one of those. Um... But, so I, I, I didn't like firecracker pop. I don't really remember what it smelled like. But, I don't know. I'm really not doing a good job at <laughs> describing this. It just smells so good. You need this one. I don't care. You need this one. This one is amazing. I think this is my favorite one that I picked up. Mm, maybe I should have got two. It just smells so good. It smells like you're at like a 4th of July party. Like a picnic or something like I said not doing a good job at explaining this at all but I'm so excited that I got that one I'm excited about all of these I, every time I get candles or like look at my candle collection I'm always trying to like run through in my head what candles I'm gonna burn like just because I have so many I have like at least 150 ish probably like 150 um I counted a while ago but I know I've accumulated some more since then but I just always like run through my head that you know I'm only going to be able to have you know three or four months of summer or whatever it is and what candles do I want to burn now which ones do I want to hold on to which ones are like cord like what what, what am I going to do so that's what I'm kind of trying to process now like which ones I'm planning on burning now um I did show you guys my project pan that I'm going to burn some specific ones. The candle that I'm burning right now is not in my project pan, but it was just like such a gloomy, cold, rainy day yesterday that the candle that I picked is just perfect and I'm still burning it right now just because it smells oh, amazing. I love Bath & Body Works. I love their candles. I love I just love it. It makes me so happy. So um, let me know down below what other videos you guys want me to film. Um, I work tomorrow. I'm off two days. And then I work like five days in a row, which is not going to be fun. But and then I have like a bunch of days off after that. So benefits of being a nurse. So uh, you guys probably won't see me till like mid next mid to the end of next week um I know they're having that moisturizer sale I believe I think that's on Wednesday so I'm probably gonna participate in that I don't know if I'll do it online or in store but that'll probably be the next video you see um I don't want to go too crazy but we'll see 
Um, but yeah, and if I don't, mm, I was gonna say I was gonna do a post burn review if I don't do a haul, but I'm gonna be working a lot. I mean, I have two more days this week, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to burn a lot of candles because I, when I work, I just come home and go to bed. So we'll see about that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I just, I love doing this and thank you all for supporting me. I love reading comments and replying to them. Um, I just did that yesterday and it, I I just love it. I'm so, I always like pushed off starting a YouTube channel. Um, I was going to do makeup before, but Bath and Body Works is so much fun because we could just talk and talk and talk like... Alright, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.